certification is to provide independent verification to consumers that the products that they're buying are coming from well-managed forests. So the system is supplemental to government regulations and it therefore gives another level of assurance to the consumer that the products are coming from well-managed forests. And so um, all of those systems, FSC, CSA, SFI and ISO as well are all verified independently by third parties. In terms of forest certification, Canada has more area certified to FSC, CSA or SFI than any other country in the world. And for FSC certification, Canada has about 25% of the total uh, worldwide uh, land area certified to FSC. So Canada is probably the leader in terms of the amount of forest that is certified to one system or another. The standards for certification systems are sound but the real issue is how those are put into practice and I think that's something that everyone needs to be concerned about, to be aware and to follow up whether those certification systems are doing what they claim to do. There's been an ongoing competition between these systems and companies who want to be certified have to consider how those systems are being accepted in the international marketplace, but generally all of them are recognized internationally. In Canada, uh, I think the forest regulations that are in place in all the provinces across the country are some of the highest in the world. The sustainable forest management has come to mean a kind of balance between economic, social and environmental issues. And I think Canada is seen as a leader in uh, attempting to do that. We have an emphasis in Canada on public participation. Since the 1990s, there's been a lot of discussion about the need for greater public control over publicly owned forest lands across Canada, and therefore there has been a push for greater public involvement. And the provinces have responded in their forest management regulations by setting up means for public involvement. Now there are lots of criticism that those mechanisms don't go far enough, but if you look at how other countries involve the public uh, in forest management, I think you'd see that uh, Canada has uh, probably um, made some inroads there that other countries haven't.